in Liberia, a front line of the Ebola outbreak, people's chances of getting life-saving or preventive health care decrease based on the distance they live from a care facility. The same is true across much of Africa. Last Mile Health is closing that gap, ensuring that well-trained community health workers reach even the most remote communities. Raj Punjabi, come to the stage. You know, I know a lot of us are worried about the state of the world. And in this moment of crisis, I find myself going back to what my parents taught me. And I want to share that with you today. My, my parents immigrated from India to Liberia. And when they went there, they were seeking opportunity. My dad was an accountant. My mom was a math teacher. I had a chance to go to a great school. And when I was in the fourth grade, nine years old, I had the kind of life that you know, you'd really imagine any nine-year-old would want. And then things changed. Civil war erupted in the countryside. Within months, the rebels had marched to our hometown. One night, they captured the only international airport, and all commercial flights stopped. People were terrified. They panicked. My mom came knocking one morning and said, Raj, pack your things. We have to go. My dad drove us to town. And there, on an airfield on a tarmac, we were separated into two lines. In one line, I stood with my mother and sister. We were stuffed into the cargo hatch of a rescue plane. As I sat there on those benches and looked out across the hatch, I saw hundreds of others, hundreds of Liberians, mothers, children strapped to their backs. When they tried to jump in the hatch with us, I watched soldiers restrain them. They were not allowed to flee. We were resettled in America, and we had to rebuild our lives. You know, when I asked my parents how they got our family through that difficult time after the war, how they overcame losing our home, how they overcame sinking into debt, how they managed to keep alive the dreams of their children, they told me something that they've repeated again and again to me every time times are hard. No condition is permanent. Our team at Last Mile Health is so proud and honored to be part of a community that believes this, that believes no condition is permanent, that is not afraid to call out the unjust conditions of our world. In Liberia, we have seen patients die from unjust conditions. We have seen them die from conditions that no one should die from in the 21st century. We have seen epidemics like Ebola ravage their communities, and we have heard again and again that they will be left behind because they were thought too hard to reach and too difficult to serve. And for the past decade, we have tried, along with many of you, to call out this unjust condition. No one should die because they live too far from a doctor or clinic. We are a community that knows unjust conditions don't change on their own. We've got to make that change. And making change, especially in moments of crisis, requires us to be two things, reformers and radicals. And in Liberia, we've seen the power of radical reformers to make change. Thousands of community members like Serena have signed up to become health workers to serve their own people 
in communities where there had been no health care for centuries. Hundreds of nurses like Diana and Emmanuel have risked their lives to teach these community health workers and serve in places that others would not dare go. And when outbreaks of Ebola were spreading like wildfire in my country and the ones near it, when we were told there could have been as many as 1.4 million people infected, when we were told that most of them would die if nothing more was done, when we had nearly lost all hope, community health workers, community health workers, community health workers, community health workers did not back down, they rose up and we rose up with them. Together with you, we teamed up to support local health workers to fight back. The Ebola crisis is over, but we have to have the humility to recognize there's so much more to be done. It should never have happened in the first place. We're working with you now and the Liberian government, not just to prevent the next Ebola crisis, but to put an end to the everyday crisis of premature death by bringing a health worker within reach of everyone, everywhere. You know, when I look back on those two lines on the tarmac, those two fault lines, as I reflect on what my parents' grit taught me, as I reflect on community health workers who rose up to fight Ebola and those like you who are rewriting stories of fear and despair into stories of hope and love, as I reflect on those moments of crisis, and I reflect on this moment of crisis, one thing seems to be true about us as human beings. We are not defined by the crises that strike our lives. We are defined by how we respond to them. Thank you.